Marsha, it's Rudy Gunn here at Londonderry Dodge. Uh, I've been talking to you on the phone there and chat chitting a little bit. Here's the truck that I wanted to show you. Uh, let's start with the under the hood here. You got your uh, nice 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine. Um, under here you got a nice piece of felt and what that does is it, it dampens the sound. So uh, if you're driving it's not as loud in the cab. It's nice and loud rumbly on the outside but inside it's very very quiet as well as if you ever get into an accident and your engine uh, catches fire, these little plastic things right here, they melt and it brings this whole thing down and it puts out the fire. So it's also a safety thing. Anything that's yellow under the hood is what you would touch. Anything else you would take uh, and you would take it in to get serviced. So that's what's under the hood here. Uh, let's do a quick little walk around of the, uh, the vehicle and uh, we'll kind of go from there. If you start with the hood, you notice there's uh, little hood scoops. That's the sports performance hood. Nice little mean looking. The grill is color matched. The bumper is color matched. Of course, a little tiny bit of chrome in the front to give it a little bit of accent, but um, it's all it's all color matched. It's got the fog lights down at the bottom here. It's very, very nice when you're up north that you get that extra little bit of light. When you move up to the top here, you've got the nice uh, projector headlight. So that's a nice little upgrade. And what that does, you know, it's, it's very, very bright. So when you're driving and you got a lot of moose and you got a lot of deer, uh, these are the headlights you're gonna want. Uh, that's why I kind of figured the Sport would be a better option for you. When we move around this way, we got uh, 20 inch rims, um, nice chrome looking rims there. We're gonna move our way right to the front, jump in here. And uh, I'll grab the, the camera here from the camera guy. Um, when we move here, we, we're going to go over the steering wheel real quick. You got voice recognition right there. Uh, you can push that and say like FM 102.3 and it will change the radio right to 102.3 uh, radio station. Also, if you get a call, uh, it's a blue, Bluetooth enabled. Uh, all you have to do is push this button here. It will answer the call, push it again, and it will uh, it will close the call off or shut the call down, uh, end the call I should say. On this side here you've got cruise control, um, it's kind of hard to see here with the light, but you can also shift up and down your gears if you have to, it's not really focusing there, hang on, there we go, that's maybe a little bit better. Um, so you got your, your cruise control right here, in the middle you've got a, a display here that you can modify by scrolling through these little things on the left side, the little arrows on the left side of the steering wheel, you can scroll right through, you can modify it whatever way you want. So you can bring that over here and you can bring uh, you can bring your compass over to the other side, modify it exactly the way you want it. Your touch screen, of course you've got uh, radio, media, so you can plug your, uh, your phone in through Bluetooth and you can play your music right off your phone. Also, you can load 40 gigabytes right into the radio, which is very, very neat. So you never have to put a CD in or anything like that. It's all USB and it's all, uh, all Bluetooth as well. So USB connector is actually in the middle center console. There'll be a USB connector right there, right here, SD card as well, auxiliary, and then a USB to charge your phone. You got another cigarette lighter right here. And then you've got another uh, outlet here that you can charge your phone or blow dry your hair or whatever. Your four wheel drives right here. Here's your dial shift, uh, your shifter knob. So it's an eight speed transmission, comes with a nice uh, chrome looking shifter. Very, very smooth ride. Your air conditioning is dual climate control. So on that side there, you can have um, one, uh, one temperature, on the left side, a different temperature. Down here, if you look down here, you got the buttons for the heated seats, the ventilated seats, the heated steering wheel, your traction control, and your tow haul. So these seats are fully ventilated. They are uh, heated as well. And then in the back, let's go kind of climb into the back here. A, very, a lot of room back here. Underneath the seat, if I flip that up, You've got a flat piece that pops out that you can flip forward if you ever have to haul like a, a television or anything like that. You can uh, pull this forward and you can lay it flat like this or if you have a dog or anything like that. Underneath there is the subwoofer for the Alpine sound system. So it's got a very, very good sound system in it. 
When you look to the left here, you'll see a little storage bin. Um, on the other side, there's one as well. When you open those up, um, let's see here. I'm gonna open this one up on the other side here. That's what it looks like. The, uh, the box pulls out, so you can put ice in there. You can put pop in there. Uh, you can put snacks in there or anything you want, wobbly pops, anything you like you can stick in there and the uh, the little box that's inside is fully removable so then uh, you can just dump the ice out and you don't have any problem. So we're going to go back to the outside here and jump out. We're going to go around the back. So to start first you got the uh, chrome tips. You got a chrome tip on both sides. Nice uh, nice little exhaust tips, dual exhaust. Right back here, you've got your four and seven pin wiring harness. So they're all pre-wired if you ever want to pull a trailer. Uh, it's very, very neat so we don't have to run it over top because actually in BC and stuff like that, it's, it's illegal to run the wires over top. So it's nice to have that pre-wired. You've got a backup camera right here. When you throw it in reverse, it will uh, show up on your 8.4 touch screen. And of course, you got the uh, six foot bed at the back of here. So you have lots and lots of room to put your quad in. That is the, uh, the gist of the truck there. I think we pretty much covered everything. Um, if there's any other questions, uh, please feel free to call me. And the number, of course, 780-473-6388. Give me a shout if you have any other questions. This is the truck here. I'm going to send this off to you right now. You can take a look and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, Marsha, and hope you have a great day.